Due to the restrictions limiting clubs from meeting in person, the drama department has had to overcome many challenges in putting on a production this year. Thank One of the most prominent solutions was to create a stay-at-home online production. This is the high school stay-at-home version, so they have adapted the script specifically for high school students and for this kind of um, virtual world that we find ourselves in. I have the A cohort cast and the B cohort cast. And the reason I divided it into A and B is because uh, the days that they're remote, then they have rehearsal and we can rehearse from like 3.30 to 5. So we just get a better chunk of time in um, and it helps you know, students be able to plan their day a little bit better. Uh, a lot of students have taken on part-time jobs since the pandemic and so that it's, it's helpful for them to have a little bit more time and, and um, be able to work a rehearsal into their schedule. We essentially just run through the show as a normal show. Um, if a student is off stage, their camera is off. And then when they come on stage or they're in a scene, they just throw their camera on and then we have all the boxes put together. And this kind of platform, the virtual platform where we're trying to do shows and everyone's just like a little box, um, you really have to angle the camera right, you have to have good light, um, you have to still speak really clearly, and you still have to be very animated. So that's one of the things I'm working on with them right now. Typically with a, with a normal play, when you're in the theater and live, you're doing a lot of you know, sound work and microphones and making sure the lighting is good and where, you know, where somebody's standing on the stage, they're lit up well and all kinds of different things like that. Uh, for this, I mean, first of all, we're really only concerned with chest and up. Uh, as far as costuming goes. And really, we, we focus a lot on our actors and actresses interacting with the camera. Everyone uses their own background. They use their own. So it's kind of, they have to adapt wherever they are. So for Clue, there's like different rooms that they're supposed to be in. So they have to find a different room in their house or somehow set it up so the room changes and it looks like where they're supposed to be which is a big challenge because of course no one's houses look the same. It's it's a big challenge. It's actually kind of a lot of fun though, I have to say. It's really interesting how um, this kind of uh, platform is, um, we're changing a lot of the ways that we look at performing arts because we haven't looked at it this way before. My job with this is really taking the, the, the video that we went through and recorded and splicing it up and editing it all down, uh, adding in special effects or visual effects. We once we get all the videos edited down, I essentially just, you know, take those and save them down into their own MP4 files, and then we essentially just send that to Broadway on demand. And they um, people can go and get tickets from Broadway on demand. There's a whole show poster that has a link to tickets and all, all kinds of different stuff. Show your support on November 12th and November 13th by picking up a ticket and watching this online production. Lyndon Joslin, CTTV.